Hey guys, Tarek with Cycling FPV, and I'm doing a real quick video here on setting up VTX tables. Uh, and in this particular video, it's going to be for anything using the IRC Tramp protocol. Now, the same rule pretty much applies to using the TBS uh, protocol, but uh, for this particular build, because I'm working on an HGLRC uh, drone right here, uh, I'm putting in one of their Ford VTXs, and that uses the IRC Tramp uh, protocol, so you'll be watching that. So let me just go ahead and show you what I'm working on. And uh, let's see if I can get this. There we go. Okay. So... I started doing this and I realized, well, I had somebody ask me if I could make a video on this, so I said, I'm gonna go back and redo it. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get Betaflight up and running and we're going to um, redo this entire flight controller like it's being done for the first time, okay? So let me go ahead and <clears throat> do a picture in picture here. And there we go, so what you're looking at is you've got the quad on the bottom here, right? And then you've got the, I've got Betaflight going on over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do an update first to get us, I've already done this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, so we're gonna do an update of firmware. We're using the Omnibus F4, and I believe it's 4.1.5 is the newest one. So let's wait for this to populate here. It is 4.1, so I'm going to load it, and then we're going to flash it, okay? So let's just go ahead and do that, and we're going to knock it out. Okay, now, while that's happening, I do know that these protocols, these VTXs, will interrupt with our, um, our uh, signal here if I do not have it on the right channel. And I believe the right channel, if I'm not mistaken, I think I remember correctly, is going to be, is it E1 or E3? I don't know. It's either 5705 or 5665. Somewhere around there shouldn't interrupt with our, uh, our stuff here. But either case, it doesn't matter. I'm going to just go ahead and get this done. So here we go. So it's flashing right now. As soon as it's done, we're going to boot back in. And then I'm going to show you how to set this up. Oh, and one other thing is I am adding to our website here. So this will give you some of the files that I'm working on right now for this. So if you go to cyclonefpv.com, and this I'm, I'm changing all our tutorial pages to be a little easier to find. So under News, Tutorials, and Videos, if you just go to Tutorials now, and a, a lot of our tutorials now will be categorized like this. If you click it, the first one I'm starting on is this one. Uh, so it'll be beta flight tutorials, and then the first article in that is gonna be the smart audio one. And I'll start moving everything over. But I did upload now two files um, that you can use with this video. While the, when this video is done and posted, I'll add more, and the video will actually be on this page as well. So just a note, okay, to, to get to this, because you can download the files that I'm referencing then. All right, so let's get to this real quick. So uh, we've done our flashing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and connect, and I'm tell it to apply custom defaults, all right? And then let's see, so now let's connect. All right, so here we go. First thing we wanna do is we're gonna to go to our ports tab. And I'm gonna set this up actually kind of, I'm gonna set the flight controller up real quickly like I normally would um, uh, for to calibrate motors and stuff. So I know on this flight controller, the smart audio from the VTX is connected to TX3, which is UART3. So I'm gonna set that up for IRC Tramp because I know that's the protocol for this uh, VTX and for many others that I use. Uh, as far as SBUS, that's gonna be on UART1. And I believe that our ESC, uh, telemetry is going to be on six. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and reboot. Okay, now we're going to connect. Okay, now uh, from here, our port, our port setup is done. Now let me go do my configuration real quickly. So on there, I'm going to leave it at one shot actually because I want to calibrate the motors. I'm going to take these two off, drop this down to four, and go to two here, just like that. And then I'm going to scroll down and make sure that I got a serial bus and, uh, sorry, uh, serial based and S bus right here. And I'm going to Let's see, some of this won't matter to you guys, but I'm just gonna take off these two here and leave everything else like it is and click save and reboot. Okay. Now I'm gonna connect back. And with that done, next thing I wanna do, because I need, I, obviously I need my radio to be working properly. Now I've already bound my X9, I'm gonna use the X90 2019 for this, but I've already bound this. So what I wanna do is I wanna go into my receiver and I wanna make sure that my uh, channel mapping is right, okay? Because if not, it's going to be all flipped, and when I try to go to Smart Audio, it's going to be all screwed up, okay? So let me go here. Uh, let me make sure. because I Oh, yeah, I've got to apply power here real quick. So uh, to make sure this is right, now I'm going to go ahead and turn the power on on the quad. So here it goes. Now I'm going to go to Receiver. Uh, let's see when it, when it does connect. Let's see what we get. All right. Uh, hopefully it will connect here. I know we were bound at one point. Let me go to Ports. Make sure I've got everything set up. So Ports, you are one. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, and then go to configuration, I believe. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's connect here real quick and go to receiver again. And I have not, I don't see that I'm bound at all. So let me power this down and power back up.
There we go. I should be set here. I see it green on my side. So I show that I'm connected, but right now I'm not showing anything on this side. So let me see what's going on here. Yeah, my receiver shows connected and my S bus is connected. So I believe my ports is right. Let's go back to ports. Uh, you know what? Here, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let me just drop all power real quickly and then get this back up. Okay, now let's see where we're at. That should be right. Mm -hmm. That should be right. There we go. Okay, so, sorry, I just had to reset. I had to take the USB out. So look at this, my quad is going whoppy jaw, which means I can't enter into anything because none of my sticks are set right. So I have to go ahead and do that. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. And when I click save, my quad should quit flying like a drunk driver here. There we go. And everything's pretty much set to normal. So now I can, once I get the set right, I can get into my smart audio by using middle and then going straight up like that, right? And I'll show you that in a second. So now getting on to where we were, uh, we need to go to our VTX table. So under video transmitter, you're going to see where it says you need to set up your VTX table and it tells you to click to this page. Well, I'll tell you that I've already put a link there and that if you go to our website, like I mentioned, you can, this is the same link. It's right here. And this gives you the VTX table options, which I'm going to add them all for you on our site. I'm just going to make it a little bit easier. So in this case, um, I, this is the IRC Tramp VTX table, the USA base that they give you as an option. Uh, and I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. Okay. So in beta flight, when it tells you that, what you can do is you can go to our website, Cyclone FPV, and you can download this one if you want. So click it. It's in zip format. So you'll get the whole file and then you'll extract it. And you can also download this one. And this one is an edited version that I updated with the rest of the table filled in to match this uh, uh, VTX, okay? So I'm gonna load the first one first and let's see what we get. Uh, I need to extract it real quick. So let me just go up one and let me find it. Now I've already downloaded this once. So when I extract it, I'm gonna have this copy right here, okay? And on this copy right here, I am going to, um, uh, Sorry, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna load it. So I'm gonna say load from file and I'm gonna take this one right here, VTX table, okay? And what happens next is it fills in on the bottom here all your stuff, right? Except that none of this matches what, what you need it to match, right? So it's like, um, uh, it's it's got the default, but then you've gotta know how many channels you have. Uh, uh, let me see, uh, I don't remember the VTX, we'll use the built-in frequency table. I was thinking about using this part. Uh, all right, anyways, so, Let's go ahead and do this real quickly. So these uh, tables, these are what the default is, and I've gone ahead and edited mine because I know, for example, if I'm looking at the uh, paperwork from uh, HGLRC, right? So I know that I have, uh, I know that I have six bands, right? And I know that on, uh, I know that I have eight channels. So this part's right. This part's not. The power level for mine is not. Uh, what is it? It's um, fifty. It's twenty-five, fifty. So this one you would change to fifty, right? And then this one you would change to 100, and then it's 200, and then 400. Well, I've already done all that, plus they filled in the gaps here. So I'm gonna say load from file, and this will be the second file you download. So if you're on our website, and you wanna download this one, and you extract it, what you're gonna end up seeing when you load it is this right here. And now you're gonna see everything's loaded for you. Okay, now I changed these just because I wanted to, but you can go back and change those however you want, all right? So this is what I've done, and this does match the factory, so I'm gonna go ahead and just set these for factory right here, okay? And I'm gonna click save. Right? All right. So now what's gonna happen is now all of a sudden I can use my VTX to work properly. I can also tell you that I need to set, so it doesn't interrupt with the video, and I'm hoping it doesn't. I need to set this, uh, it's not gonna let me because I'm not attached yet. Um, once I connect to VTX, you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, once I connect it, it's probably gonna cut this channel out. So be very careful, but this is all you have to do. Load in the table, make sure the parameters uh, match, and if they don't, all you have to do is I'll load the first one again. So the, the one, the actual default one right here, it's gonna fill this in for you. Fill it in as you want. Try to match your, um, look here, try to match if you have a instructions or somewhere on the website or wherever it is that you bought your stuff, they're gonna give you a table, a VTX table. Put that information in here and save it. And all you gotta do to save it is you're just gonna go back and you're gonna enter your information and then you're gonna click save to file. That way, if you ever need to load it again, you just click load. Uh, load from file and all your stuff comes back. All right. So I can tell you that the one that I did for HGLRC forward VTX, that is from them. That is their settings right there. And I'm going to click save. And once I click save, if my VTX was plugged in, I would be able to now go up here and I could add my stuff, but I can't because it's not detected yet. So 
when I do this now, it's going to cut us out. I'm 99% I'm sure, but I'm going to try to make it uh, as quickly as possible to where it disappears. Ready? So here it goes. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn the quad off real quickly. And I'm going to plug in uh, the VTX. And I'm going to hopefully move as fast as possible so that it does not cut this video out. So let me just get in here. not get my fat fingers in there so I'm trying to use this with tweezers and it is not the easiest thing but let's see I should be able to get it here in just a second there we go okay so that's situated in let me plug that in and I'll tuck these wires in in just a second but now let's see what we've got and again if the video gets cut out I'm going to try very quickly to move it okay so I'm going to stay on this page I'm going to turn the power on I'm going to tell it now that I want to go to E let's see if I can get to E uh where am I at sorry E three I think it's three uh, and uh, actually I haven't seen it freeze yet so I'm, I, I may not even mess with it right now all right I may just leave it like it is for the time being but this is how you would do it uh, if you if you uh, wanted your smart audio and you want to get your VTX table that's all you'd have to do and then from there you know to go to your smart audio it's a uh, th uh, throttle stick to the left in the middle left and then the uh, right stick all the way up and you would open your uh, VTX um, you would open your VTX table options, right? Now I'm afraid this might get locked soon, but let's just see. I think actually, yeah, it was already set. I had set it before, so we're back. And if you look right now, um, let me see what I've got. I've got 5.70, uh, let me see, is that right? 5.7, no, it's 5.785. So 5.78, 5.785 is gonna be right in this range right here. So I am good at around E3, okay? And I was trying to think if I have an exact five here. And I don't, I don't know, maybe it's on there. I just don't see it. But in either case, this seems to be a safe band for me to go ahead and do this on. So once you load that on, you're good to go. And like I said, if you want to now go into, if you can see this screen, and I will, um, I will make this screen bigger here, right there, all right? So if you, if you can see that, now I can get into my menu, and I can exit, okay, and get out of my menu. And I hope you can see that as well. So you just kind of zoom right in there. And I'll put this, I'll move this quad a little bit out of the way and you can see a little bit better there. Okay, so now with Smart Audio in, I can just go to the uh, middle left on throttle and up on the right stick. And there's my stuff. And then I can start selecting what I need to about this, okay? So that's how you get your VTX tables put in and that's how you do everything else. And once you do that, you can set up all your VTX however you want, all right? So let me, uh, let's do this real quick. There we go. All right, guys, that's it. It's a real quick 13-minute video on this one. The files for this are available on the website. Again, just go to cyclofbv.com, then go to tutorials uh, under the support. And then you can go to beta flight and you'll see this is the first topic. And you, I, see, I think I sent you that link at the beginning. Uh, anyways, if you have any questions, always go to our contact page and uh, hit me up and I'll uh, respond as soon as I can. And then please follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, these videos are short. They're quick. Uh, hopefully, you can just jump around and, and, and do it as you need. If you have any questions about it, let me know. If not, listen, God bless. Have fun. Be safe. Spend time with your family, guys. You don't know how much time you have left, so please make the most of it. You can always fly another time. Spend time with them while you can. Okay?